Hi, I study deep sea corals. Most people don't know that corals can be found in deep, cold, and dark environments, but they do. And they are important habitat for many other species, including fish. You might think that because they live so far from us, they are not endangered by human activities. But actually, that's not true. Human activities such as commercial fisheries, for example, can cause important danger to deep sea corals. Just imagine the nets of a fishing boat dragging the bottom of the ocean, getting the fish, but getting everything else that lives on the bottom, including deep sea corals. There is habitat loss. This has been compared to deforestation that we see in terrestrial environments. That's a big deal. But then, let's be positive and think, well, new corals will be able to go to that place and to recolonize it. There's hope. But then the question is how long it will take for these new corals to recolonize that place, to grow back again. So if we know how fast different species of coral grow, we might be able to answer to that question. I'm studying gypsy corals from different places mostly from Canada, and I'm looking at how fast they grow, how old, and how big they get. And I'm looking how the environment influences all these factors. So for example, a coral that is living in a place where there's lots of food might be growing faster than in a place where you have less food. And uh, the corals I'm studying, they lay down rings, like the rings we see in trees, like these ones here. So I look at the rings and I'm able to see what is the age of that coral and to estimate how fast it's growing. And also, many of my samples we get using a robot like that one there. So we can send that robot to hundreds of meters deep and it's gonna take the samples for me, the corals, and also videos and pictures. And I can use these videos to estimate the size of the, the corals that are living in the natural place. So if you have all this information, we are gonna be able to have a better management and conservation for all these species of corals, and consequently, for all these species that live associated to them. If you want to have healthy, sustainable oceans, we need to think about that. You know what, right now, in some place of the world, and maybe not too far from here, there are corals that are decades or hundreds or thousands of years old that are being destroyed in less time than this talk. So we need to think about that. We need to know more about who is living in the deep sea, who is living in the oceans, if you want to have sustainable oceans in the future. Thank you.